Hey, good morning, beautiful people. I hope you are having a fabulous week. And um, I am actually doing something that normally I do on Mondays, but I thought uh, I've got a little bit of time this morning before I go and I actually have a hair appointment, which is why I washed my hair, but I didn't bother doing anything with it because I'm about to go and get it done ready for the springtime. So spring, speaking of springtime, I'm going to be sharing a video with you guys pretty soon about how I do spring cleaning of my products and all of that. But something that I do that's like a spring cleaning, but every single week is cleaning my brushes. And so I wanted to share with you how we can do that. How can you care for your makeup brushes in order to keep them sanitary as well as to make them last longer. So the first thing I'm going to do is share with you what I do with my dry brushes. So like this is my cheek color brush and um, cheek color, powder, eyeshadows, all of these brushes are something that can be cleaned after every single use. They don't have to be cleaned after every use, but I would definitely recommend um, you know, like at least once a month, I, I, once a week would probably be better, but at least once a month, y'all clean your brushes because keep in mind that you're putting them on your face, usually probably a clean face, but you know, oils and bacteria and things like that, they sit and they, and they can just grow bacteria. So you do want to clean these pretty regularly. Um, our Mary Kay brush cleaner is awesome. It makes it so easy to just, oh, let me turn around. You just spray it like that and then take a clean washcloth and you just go like that. Oh, let me see here. Okay. So look at that just from one spray. <laughs> Can y'all see that? Okay. Here we go. I'll do it this way. And, um, and that cleans the brush. Now, this is something that I do, you know, once a week, or you can also do this in between. So let's say for example, you're using an eyeshadow brush and you're using like a purple color or something like that, but then you want to switch over to a gold or a, you know, a brown. And so you just spray it and you brush it. You just wipe it like this gently. You don't want to be too rough because it will damage and misshape the brush and see how that just took that color right off. And now I can go and I can immediately use it on a different color and apply. So having this just handy when you're doing your makeup um, all the time is a great idea. And then like once a month, what I'll do is I'll actually wash the brush so that I'm getting all the way down into the bristles and really cleaning it. Um, and I use either my facial cleanser bar. This is our TimeWise cleansing bar. Uh, this has been the easiest thing to clean my brushes with. Um, this is also one of my favorite cleansers to use in the shower. So I put this with my supersonic brush in the shower, wash my face with it. And then when I'm cleaning my brushes, I just pull it out of the shower and use it. Another thing you can use is any of your, whatever your cleanser is, uh, you can use, like I've used our hand soap before. And also I have used uh, my antibacterial dish soap. So depending on what kind of brushes you are using, if they are real hair brushes, you would not want to use Dawn dish soap on them. Um, you would want to use actually shampoo. So I used to wash my brushes with my hair shampoo, but now our new Mary Kay brushes are no longer made with real hair. They're all a synthetic hair. And so now it's even you know easier to clean without worrying about drying them out or damaging them. So the next thing that I'm going to show you is once a week, I clean all of my brushes. Now, the, these are my liquid brushes. All right. And I love this Mary Kay tray. This was a limited edition item. I do still have several left. I stocked up on these big time when we had them. So if you are not familiar with this, ask her consultant if she has any, but I love this stand. I put all of my foundation brushes. Um, I've got my concealer brushes are in here. Uh, my big powder brush that I use that I don't keep in my other makeup bag, things like that. So those are all in here. I also put some extra like lip liners and then my mask applicator I keep in here. And so this just sits on my counter and I'm so lazy. I don't want to have to wash my brushes every day. And so I do have, I have like four or five liquid foundation brushes. Um, you're worth it because really you do need to wash these after every use. That's the best thing. I would, I would absolutely at least wash it after every other use. And I don't like having to wash it 
every time. I got places to go and people to see and things to do. And so um, you might want to also just get several. And so if I have four or five brushes, then that usually can last me a week of my foundation use. Because I sometimes I just use a CC cream. Sometimes I just put it on with my fingertips. Um, but I really love the application that I get with our liquid foundation brush. And so the way that I use it, or the way that I clean them, is I just get them a little bit damp and I just gently massage it. and you'll see it kind of, you know it's you're getting foundation out there and in the palm of my hand I'm doing gentle swirls to work the soap the cleanser up into the brush and then I'm rinsing it doing that same motion in the water sorry there was no really good way for me to get this angled how I wanted it to. Let me see if I can tilt this down. And um, let me see if I can get this down to the, where you'll see the sink. <laughs> okay, so you can see I've got all my brushes here. Let me get my toothbrush out of there. You don't need to see that. Um, all right, and so I am squeezing the foundation out of the brush. Again, you want to be gentle because you don't want to damage or misshape the brush itself. And I just do that a few times, okay? so. I, I do it until the brush is clean. Another thing that you can do is if you find that the so that the foundation, like it's really in there, because it does, it works its way into the brush. As you're blending your foundation into your face, the foundation is gonna get down into the brush. And so if I need to, can y'all see how, I'm, how much is squeezing out of that? <laughs> All that foundation. That's another, um, you know, so you just, you don't wanna be putting this, this on your face. It's, it's dirty. It's collecting bacteria. The foundation itself is not bad for your skin, but after it's been sitting out, um, you know, growing bacteria to then take it and put it back onto your face, that is not great. And I do have very acne prone skin. So anything that I can do to make sure that I am not causing <laughs> more acne is going to be helpful. Another thing that you can do is take just a little cup. I do keep a small cup in my bathroom for this and just barely filling it with water. I want the water to stay below where the brush connects into like where the bristles connect into the base of the brush for a couple of reasons. One, I'm not exactly sure how these brushes are made, but I think that, you know, there's something that holds the bristles in and there's a certain, there's going to be some kind of like glue adhesive something. And I don't want to soak that, um, into in, in like soapy water. All right. Because I want my brushes to last a long time. So that's one reason why I make sure that the water level, if I am going to soak my brushes is low. The other reason is I don't want to move, um, anything even up higher into the brush, you know, than it already is. So you can get a little bit of, I, I put a little bit of dish soap in one of my travel containers and keep this in my drawer. And so you can do a little bit of that, put just a little bit of water. I mean, I only have it filled up to where it's going to be about two thirds of the way up the brush. And I kind of swirl it like this, and then you can let it just soak for a little while while you do something else or you start working on your other brushes or something like that. So this is what I do usually on Mondays. Those are kind of my prep and clean and get everything ready for the weekday. And so, like I said, I have multiple brushes uh, so that I don't have to do it more than once or twice a week to just clean them all and be ready to go. So if you have any questions, please feel free to comment. Um, and ask questions, but that is how I keep up with my brushes staying clean um, and also helping them to last a long time. Now you are supposed to replace your brushes every year or two. Um, and it just like you replace your toothbrush, right? After a while, it's gonna lose its shape. It's gonna lose the texture after being washed a bunch. It's, you know, it's gonna do that. And so that's okay, that's normal. Um, and, uh, but our brushes do last a long time. I highly recommend using brushes that do not have a wooden handle. Um, 
because wood will crack and it will hold on to moisture and will hold on to mold and bacteria. Whereas plastic is a lot easier to keep sanitary. So that's another quick little tip when it comes to brushes. Okay, I think that was everything, y'all. Thank you so much. <laughs> Go out there and make it a beautiful day. Bye-bye.